Hey guys, it's Colin Jung from EDD Academy, and in this video, Aryan, Srijan, and Alex are going to be interviewing Maddie Tang, a recent graduate from University Laboratory High School who will be attending the University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign in the coming fall. I hope you enjoy. All right, so we're, we're all going to introduce ourselves. First of all, I'm Aryan. I'm SJ, or Srijan. Alex. And Maddie. Okay, so let's get right into it. Uh, Maddie, so why did you choose uh, UIUC for engineering specifically? Uh, because UIUC CS is one of the top CS programs in the nation. Was there so, was there anything else in terms of like? Uh, no, <laughs> that's oh, it. Okay. I yeah. mean, also it's like close to home, and I'm like familiar with the area. So, can you describe your high school experience in terms of like everything, like academics, sports, extracurriculars, social life? It was good. <laughs> like I. Did five years of cross. Well, I guess four years in high school for athletics, uh, academics. I did like, I did math competitions. So like AMC and the local ones like ICTM. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah, there are also like various other competitions throughout the year, like Explorer Vision. I did that for a few years. Any like clubs or anything? Clubs. Yeah. So I did chess club, while it was still a thing. Definitely math club. Oh, Skull Bowl. I, I used to do Quiz Bowl for the first few years of high school. That was really fun. So focusing on the academic rigor aspect of your high school experience, can you describe like your grades, your classes, and your stats? My grades were good. I had a 4.0. Like in terms of rigor, I feel like none of my classes were like super rigorous. I, it was mostly through U of I classes. So like uh, taking CS and EC at Illinois, those were like the main classes that actually like challenged me. And those were pretty fun. I learned a lot from them. If we have your permission, what about like your standardized testing experience? Pretty good. Studying definitely helps for sure for standardized testing. Like even if you think you know all of it, it's still better to study because standardized testing is something of its own that you have to study. Yeah. Any advice on the SAT or ACT debate? Uh, I didn't take ACT. I always took SAT. Whatever. Are you are you willing to share your score? If you're not, that's okay. Yeah, I got a fifteen sixty on the SAT, and like from what I've heard, that's like good enough where you don't have to retake it. So I think yeah, we can move on now. Would you be willing to talk about like your essays? What went into your essays and what Common App essay you chose? Like any supplementals you think you did well on? Okay. Or? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So the Stanford essays, they had 11 essays and a lot of them were supplements. Some of them are really short, like 50 words, but a few of them were like 200, 300 words. Those are really fun because most of the Stanford essays are like just getting to know you and they're not really like, why do you like Stanford? Or like, they're, they're not really trying to get you to like flex. It's just like to get to know you better. But yeah, so basically for Common App, I wrote it without basing it off a of prompt, but then I looked back and like, this one fits the obstacle one. So I basically wrote about how like, I skipped a bunch of school because it was boring. And I don't recommend doing that, but it was honest. So maybe it was a good essay, I don't know. What about in terms of like the time you spent on essays? Like, did you start uh, planning junior year or? No, <laughs> I didn't. I wrote all my essays senior year, but I would recommend starting over the summer for sure. Do like some stream of consciousness consciousness thing and just like Get something write down. out. Yeah, yeah, have something yeah. down. And then later you can be like, oh, this is okay. Or you can work off of it if you have good ideas. What about in terms of like how many people you had peer review with? Like who did you look for counselors, family, uh, classmates? Classmates. I had like four or five people read it, okay. but I didn't really have counselors or parents read it. So we hear a lot about presenting a holistic view of ourselves to admissions officers. Did you consider this explicitly when you were writing uh, essays or? Yeah, for sure. So I'm not a college admissions counselor, but like, I've heard the same thing. So I assume they want more from you than like academics. And it's just like, I have really good grades. I'm really smart. Like pretty sure everyone applying is like that. So you do want to seem like more well-rounded. And I also try to be like, so yeah, I did consider explicitly that it would probably be more favorable to have like a holistic presentation to myself in my essays. I try to make myself seem like a well-rounded person by talking about stuff that's not academics. Like my other interests, like running, programming, mm -hmm. Even though, like, that's kind of academic, but whatever. Jumping back to your, like, high school experience, what do you think made it uh, unique? And then, like, how did that reflect into your application process? So you were talking about your hobbies and all. Like, what made it specific to you? And how did you differentiate yourself in that regard once it came time to apply? 
and just your experience overall sure. because we go to a lab school which is already different from like a normal public school yeah you should, should give some insight to that and what opportunities you have that oh, other students may not have had i definitely talked about you mm -hmm. classes in my common app but i feel like that's a lot of people do that kind of an advantage that we have over other people or it's like we can take high level classes so for one of my Stanford, so I was interested in like AI machine learning for a long time. So I looked into it on my own a lot. So I wrote one of my Stanford essays about that. It's like demonstrate like your passion for learning or whatever. And like, I just talked about AI and the experience I had just like learning about it on my own, like through self-study. And do you think uh, that essay? along with self-studying was impacted by the U of I classes you took or no? No, I didn't mention U of I at all in that okay. essay. Since okay. like I didn't take a machine learning course at U of I. All right. So we've made it very clear that you've taken a variety of classes at the U of I, uh, primarily in computer science and electrical engineering. So can you describe yeah. the experience as a whole? Really good. So like uni doesn't have any classes that are like even comparable to those two classes or those like departments at U of I. Like we used to have computer programming, but it's not really the same. I feel like, well, we don't even have it anymore. <laughs> so uh, yeah, the U of I experience is different, especially for electrical engineering. Like you just don't learn that in high school. Like there are no classes that teach stuff like uh, that. So the EC class I took was basically just learning about computers from the bottom up. So like eventually by the end of the first semester, like you could build a computer by yourself from just like transistors, theoretically. Like, you would actually need, like, a million transistors to actually do it. But, like, you know exactly how you can build a computer from the bottom up, how every part of it operates. It's pretty cool. And I don't think that's something you would learn in high school. It's a pretty unique experience. Okay. So, without naming professors or specific class numbers, uh, can you tell me, like, your favorite and least favorite classes or topics at the U of I? At U of I? Yeah. My least favorite was, okay, I took a 100-level math class, despite Oko telling me not to and being like, this is probably too easy. I'm like, no, nah, I really want to take it. And it was too easy. It was a stupid class. But it was just like exploring a bunch of random math topics. And it wasn't going too deep into them. It was like surface level stuff. So like it went through like graph theory, cryptography, like voting theory, stuff like that. It was, I think the point of the class is like to get people into math and like try to find this particular area they're interested in. But like, I feel like I wasn't too interested in it because I wanted to like go in depth into one topic rather than just like try to skim over the entirety of math. Um, my favorite class was probably the one I just said, the one where like we learned about, no, it's the com computer engineering class where you learn hardware and like how to build a computer and how they operate. Great. So how do you think taking these classes affected your college search? Did it provide some sort of insight that helped you pick schools or anything? Not only your um, college search, but also like your intended major. Yeah. So intended major, I was going to do CS regardless of whether or not I took these classes. But like, just because I took them, I'm farther along through major requirements, like course material. And I, so I'm more inclined to go into CS, but also like, after taking them, I kind of get uh, an experience of what it's going to be like actually taking classes and pursuing that major. And now I know for sure that I want to do it. But I like those classes and the things that I teach. But in terms of college search, I think by taking those classes, you get to know what the professors are like, what the learning environment's like, and like also particularly facilities. So a big reason I picked U of I over Western schools, like but West Coast schools, like uh, UC, is because the facilities here are like crazy. And I wouldn't have known about it if I didn't like take classes and go to the EC and like CS buildings and actually like look around. Okay, so do you have any uh, studying tips or general advice for freshmen in engineering, both at the U of I and in general? Go, go to lecture, I guess. Go to lecture and take notes. It's really helpful. Yeah, just don't skip lectures, and there should, really shouldn't be a problem. And also office hours. Like, that's not really a thing in high school. And, like, maybe people haven't heard about it if they're freshmen, but office hours are where, like, professors or TAs for a class have, like, dedicated times for you to just go in and ask questions. And those are really helpful because you can go ask stuff about it. 
And for CS, sometimes they'll just debug your code for you. If you're ever like stuck on your code, you don't know where the bugs are. You can just go into office hours and they'll help you. So now that you've basically talked about everything, your entire process, you've just graduated, do you have a main piece of advice that you would have for high schoolers at any level, like regarding the college application process? I say start early. Like you don't have to stress about it, but like the earlier you start, the better. Like I know, I know for the counselors are like really big on not like starting to grind through standardized tests starting from freshman year and worrying about that. But like you should start planning early still. Have like a few ideas in mind of like what you want to do. Like maybe you want to start thinking early about like what you want to do in college. You don't have to commit to it, but like if you think you might be interested in like CS classes, like look into CS at U of I or at high school or I guess if you're not in the area, like see if you can take classes anywhere, community colleges or like at your school in fields that you might be interested in and like just start exploring stuff early. Uh, all right. Thank you for your time. Yeah, yeah sure. No problem. To his Thanks. Yeah. yeah. All right. See ya.